Did you know that there is evidence of transgender people from as early as 5000 BC, around 5000 to 3000 BC in Mesopotamia, the worship of the goddess Inanna, the Sumerian goddess of love, sensuality, fertility, procreation, and war, had clergy of males, females, and people that would be defined as transgender in the modern day. These people were known as Kugara, transgender males, and Galater, transgender females. In the United States, Prior to Western colonization, some Native American tribes had third gender roles like the Navajo. Sex realignment surgery became widely known in 1952 when Christine Jorgensen became the first person in the United States that was widely publicized as undergoing the surgery. All this to say that although the modern term transgender is relatively new, there have been historical accounts of transgender people and cultures worldwide for thousands of years. I bring this up because I have heard the misconception that being transgender is a new phenomenon, which is just just historically inaccurate and dangerous. It is important now more than ever to speak against inaccuracies about the LGBTQIA community. As of this video being uploaded, the ACLU is tracking 491 anti-LGBTQ bills in the United States, ranging from attacks on civil rights to healthcare to education. My personal belief is that if we are quiet about the attacks that the LGBTQ community is facing, then we are complicit in the spreading of violence. And don't be naive, violence against the community is spreading. I don't say this to try to stoke fear, but rather to shake people out of complacency. We learned of terrible and terrifying acts of violence of marginalized communities in our history classes, and I hope we thought that if something like that tried to happen here, that we would be on the right side of history. Well, it is happening here. So how would you like history to remember you?